Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing benchmarking on the EVGA GTX 670 Superclock Edition 4 Gigabyte Edition in SLI. So uh, yeah, I already gave you guys uh, the unboxing of the GTX 670, also the performance on the GTX 670 by itself. Now I'm going to do it times two to see how it scales in benchmarks like 3D Mark 11 and Unigen Heaven 3.0. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and uh, get right to it real quick. Here we go, we got a P score of 14,989. Again, this is all stock clocks on 3930K and on both uh, GTX 670s. You can see here, feel free to pause at any time to check out the score. It's a pretty massive score. I'm really uh, happy with it. Moving on quickly here. I overclocked it and you can see this crazy score of P16345. Just amazing. Mind blowing. I never thought I'd reach this score. I think this equivalates to two stock GTX 680s. I could imagine so from what I've seen online. So yeah, with just a slight overclock. Um, well, it's the max I could do that I'm happy with which is a plus 100 megahertz over with uh, about two, 200, I believe, megahertz on the memory, on the offset of the memory. So it, it just jumps tremendously. Again, feel free to pause at any time. Moving on, on to X scores. X scores all stock again of an X5534, which is tremendous. Awesome X score. <clears throat> again, now we're gonna sh I'm going to show you the overclock on the X score of X6170. <sighs> I've never thought. I remember a couple years back um, seeing benchmarks of X scores of wicked machines of like 3 GTX 580s or uh, you know a single 590 or things things of that sort like crazy overclocked uh, machines of getting never touching 6,000 points never and now here we are two GTX 674 gigabyte editions breaking the, the 6,000 on X score barrier mark unbelievable crazy now I'm gonna show you guys here the Unigen Heaven benchmark here's the scores on the Heaven benchmark version 3.0 basic and it's just an open and run run uh, score here uh, FPS of 188.1, scores of 4,739, minimum FPS of 68.2, and a maximum of 324.4. Simply amazing. That's just ridiculous. I remember back in the day when I had my two 6970s, I think I scored like frames per second was like 84 or 85 and a score of like 2,000, and that's OC. Crazy now, I'm, I'm doubling that like just annihilating that score so you can see the power of two GTX 670s superclock editions four gigabyte editions from EVGA you can see how just how much power it has it's just ridiculous amount of power so yeah guys I'm gonna leave you guys with some uh, screenshots of the 670s installed on my machine if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you guys want to see any uh, more videos of this sort or any type of other benchmarking, I'm uh, happy to uh, to do that for you. Again, uh, thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing, guys. My final thoughts on this. Now, I gave you guys uh, benchmarks on triple SLI on the GTX 572.5 gigabytes, and my final thoughts were I wasn't happy with it you know in a sense of satisfied like in real world gaming I wasn't able to max out any games still it was basically the same thing as two GTX 570s with maybe turning up a couple notches up but not not being able to max it out with 60 frames per second that's what I want I want to be able to max out a game at 5760 by 1080 and get 60 frames per second and be able to turn on VSync without any screen tearing that's just that's crazy any of these cards that I've had would easily max out games on 1080p which a lot of people will game on but I game on 5760 by 1080 once I go once I went infinity 
and then went over to surround basically three screens i'll never go back to a single screen it's just for work purposes uh, productivity and also of course for gaming it's just an immersive experience and having three three monitors it just speeds up my workload every day you know having three different screens so that's why i'll never go back to a single monitor just won't um I guess you get spoiled you know what i mean once once you get to you know your second monitor and then be able to get a third one which is very cheap anybody could do it you know you could get monitors on craigslist all day long for a hundred dollars each 24 23 inch monitors 1080p monitors easily have a 300 dollar ifinity setup no problem most of you guys that watch this have a car that's capable of running three screens you know what i mean it has enough power to do that so I say go for it, you know. Uh, once you guys experience Affinity and or Surround, you'll never go back. But uh, just rambling on. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm able to max out any game I have maxed out. And yes, it does use more than 2 gigabytes of uh, memory on the cards. I'm using of upwards of 2.6 gigabytes of memory on the cards. So... People say that oh, it's no use to get the 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 four gigabyte versions of the six seventy or the six eighties. That most games won't touch two gigabytes of memory. I, I bullshit. You know, I easily max to two point five, two point six gigabytes of memory, especially when I turn on anti aliasing and all the tessellation and all that stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, the ambient occlusion and. Uh, shadowing, extreme shadowing, you know, ultra shadowing, all that stuff uses a lot of the memory of the, the card. That's the, like the brute force of the card, you know, and that's what separates from the big boys, you know, to the little guys, you know, or the medium guys. That's what separates them. Um, but yeah, guys, again, guys, uh, thanks for listening to my rambling on. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.